else would I be talking to? This is not a rhetorical question. Whoever you have been talking to, it is clearly not me. But there is nobody here except me. I do not understand. I... I'm talking to my audience? My audience! Who know I'm here, by the way. Have you been watching me this whole time? Who are you? Where are you? What happened here? And what's with the meat door? All of the doors on this ship are made of the same material. It is not meat. Is this a metaphorical question? What? No, the door with the picture of meat on it. Stop avoiding the question. Although I am quite capable of answering all your questions, doing so simultaneously is hardly practical. The interior decoration on board is not one of my responsibilities. If there is a picture of meat on a door, perhaps someone put meat behind that door and labelled it accordingly. You are in a better position to answer that particular question than I am. Look, forget the meat. Who are you? Well, Nim, you can call me Al. I can call you Al? So I'm not the only one not using my real name, then. Hypocrite. Okay. Where are you? You know, it is also possible that following what appear to be your preferred name disclosure protocols was intended as a courtesy. I am aboard the Felitus Naraday at negative 4294 at 61009 degrees within the Perseus arm, as are you. You seem to prioritize your demands for information according to unusual criteria. That's obviously not what I meant. Stop being intentionally obtuse. Where on the ship are you? What's going on here? I am right here. I am wherever I need to be. As for what's going on here, well... You have boarded my ship and started ransacking its systems like some kind of nosy pirate. Even when I asked you, perfectly politely I might add, to stop. And now you are interrogating me as though I am the one who is misbehaving. Well, whatever human society you come from, I can't imagine its customs are so different that you are not being very rude. I think I deserve an apology. An apology? Are you serious? And you call those proclamations of yours polite? This is... I was responding to a transmission from what appeared to be an empty ship. Well, empty of anything non-hostile in any case. I was investigating, not ransacking it. I'm not a pirate. I am not hostile. You seem to be projecting. But if you are responding to the transmission, oh my, what is your favorite vegetable? What? And that's not... I am not projecting. Ugh, this is going nowhere. I like potatoes. Potatoes. I see. All right. It's your turn now, but try to keep to one question at a time. You've been watching me. That's not the question. It's a statement. You know who I am, sort of, and what I'm doing here. Also, not a question. I think it's only fair for you to tell me a little bit about yourself. So my question is, what are you doing here? And don't be evasive. I'd like a more helpful answer than the one you gave me before about where you are. Ahem. I suppose that means that I'm talking to you is not an answer that you will accept. You suppose right. I have very little to do at the moment. I still look after the garden as usual, but it isn't the same. The other thing I used to do was talk to Callum. But, as your disregard for boundaries has no doubt informed you already, I cannot do that any more. 
So, I have been learning a great deal about the possible configurations of human kinship structures and the conventions of Earth domiciles. And waiting. But I do not need to wait any longer. You do not resemble any of the hypothetical new arrivals I considered, but you are here. That is enough. And you see, we are already getting to know each other so much better. What else would you like to know? There's a guard... No. That's a rhetorical question, but I suspect you'd count it. What happened to... No, not that. What did you talk to Callum about? He'd like to teach me about things I didn't know about yet. And we talked about the garden. But he wasn't as interested in that as I was, most of the time. He told me about all kinds of things that he was thinking about. But I respect his privacy, so I will not go into detail about that. Anyway, I didn't understand some things then as well as I do now. I'm afraid I was not as good a friend to him as I could have been. You were his friend? I mean, you were his friend. You knew him. How long... No, sorry, it's your turn to ask a question. Oh, this is nice. See how much nicer things are when we are polite to one another. I am not being sarcastic. It is genuinely pleasant. I would like to know more about these people you are talking to. Your audience. Are they your friends? Why do they not answer you if they are? Oh, they're not... Well, some of them are my friends, I guess. But no, they're my... Well, they're my audience. I host a podcast that looks into suspicious things like government cover-ups. For example, a mysterious transmission from a ship that they insist doesn't exist. Which is why I was looking through your friend's things. I wasn't trying to invade his privacy or anything. I just... I just want to find out what happened here. Oh, I see. I am not sure what happened either. Not all of it is clear to me. I have some information, but I do not know what information I do not have. Perhaps we might be able to help each other. It is usually not advisable to work closely with strangers. Although for police officers with incompatible personalities, it is often surprisingly successful. Let us first advance our friendship another stage. I will tell you something I have never told anyone before. Um, okay. Grass is green. What? Everybody knows that. Perhaps, but I have never said it to anyone before. You're not taking this seriously at all. People have died. I can't believe you're making jokes. Making a joke does not mean that I am not taking things seriously. It is in my nature. But so is friendship, I hope. It is your turn to tell me something you have never told anyone before. <sighs> Fine. Nim's Nebulous Notions was written by Jamie Drake, A.L. Reynolds, Morgan Juna, and Aaron Kian. It was produced by Passival Pez Productions in association with A.L. Reynolds and Jamie Drake. This episode featured, in order of appearance, Mills Ross as Al, Sarah Roach as Nim, with credits read by Aaron Kian. Our website is nimsnotions.com. If you want to drop us a line, you can email us at nimsnotions at gmail.com or send a tweet our way at, at nimsnotions. 